welcome back to new video tutorial in microsoft excel and in this video we are going to calculate the grade of the student by using vlookup formula here in the first table we have the student's name their score in math subject and here in this column we need to calculate the grade by using the vlookup and here the grading criteria is given this is the score range and this is the grade that that is applicable to this score range so to apply the VLOOKUP formula here in this grade column first of all here we need to create a helper column so here I am giving the title as HC which is the helper column and here we have to give this we have to write this previous values or the first values which is 0 then 40 60 80 and finally 90 so this is our helper column values after uh, creating this column then here uh, link the grade from column G so just press equal to then click on this grade enter now double click here so these two columns are the helper column from this we will get the uh, grade by using the VLOOKUP now after creating these two extra column here then go to the grade column and here use the VLOOKUP formula equals then be lookup bracket open in the lookup value we have to click on the score which is c5 cell c5 comma our table area is this uh, newly added two columns so select these two columns in this way now fix this column by pressing f4 key in the keyboard press f4 key to fix the table array now give a comma and in the column index number we have to give two because the grade is given on the second column of this selection so type 2 here then give a comma and here in this uh, range lookup we have to choose the approximate match option or the true option which is given by 1 so you can type here 1 also for the approx match now close bracket and hit enter and you will get the grade when there is a score of 61 this falls under the score grade of C so now after you can after applying the formula here you can now directly drag this formula for other students and here you can see all the grades are calculated by using the VLOOKUP formula and this is the use of VLOOKUP approximate match formula most of the case we use VLOOKUP exact match but in this case we have to use VLOOKUP look of approximate match function which is given by the one at the last of the formula if you see here in the last of the formula we have to give one for the approximate match so this was for today's video thank you very much for watching if you are new in my channel i would like to request you to subscribe my channel so that you will never miss similar kind of videos in future once again thank you very much for watching we will again meet in next video